right, we are going to show you how to do a dedicated circuit today on the electrical panel. First, we're going to show you some electrical that was done wrong and why it was done wrong. If you look, this is a 100 amp square D breaker box. And uh, if you look up here, coming into your power box, you have this wire coming down, and that's 110 volts. You have this other wire coming down, that's another 110 volts. When you take those two, put them together, that's how you get 220. But basically that feeds this whole box and all this power down here is live. This other black wire coming in is your neutral and that's the one wrapped with white. And you can see where on this side you can attach your bars for your ground and your neutral on both sides and they're tied together by the green screw up there. Now, somebody put a GFI on the bottom of this box and they put a GFI on and the GFI is supposed to have neutral your hot wire which is the black one and if you notice there's no ground every circuit should have a ground which is the metal line the bare metal line here and they never hooked that up to there that is not the proper way to do it and if you only have two wires in a house and you can't do that you either a have to pull a new wire or b you have to uh, you either you you can't use a GFI, so because you have to have the ground to make that uh, to make that work properly. If you don't believe me, our special guest today is the electrical inspector. As you can see, he's got his safety glasses on, so he's going to sit there. He wants to make sure that all this wiring is done properly. And yes, we did pull permits because, uh, especially with the inspector here, we wouldn't want to get in any trouble. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a dedicated circuit. We are putting in a water heater. It's a, uh, we're putting in a water heater that is a uh, high efficiency, on-demand water heater. It's natural gas. But we need to put in a dedicated circuit for the water heater. And so I'm going to show you how to do a dedicated circuit from start to finish so that that only feeds that appliance and has its own breaker has the wiring and the plug and everything for just that appliance and that appliance only. Alright, first off we are going to pop out this lower pop out the uh, connector where we connect our box to. If you look on the box, you'll be able to see that you've got holes here that you can knock out, put your connectors in. You can grab that, break that off. Of course, always remember to have your power turned off before you start. one on the inside that you screw on. There's a piece on the outside here you screw on. Now I left that a little loose because I want to put a level on it and I'll screw it into the wall. In the back of the box there's four holes you can secure it to. Most people only use 
one or two holes. I like to use all of them. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to run our wire from the we're going to run our wire from this box over to our circuit breaker. We're going to install a new circuit breaker. Uh, I have got a 15 amp. When you're looking at the circuit breaker, if you look here, it says 15 amp right there. Now on these square D ones, you can also check to see uh, if they're tripping properly. And the way you can do that is if you put it in the on position, and you do that, see it tripped it. So that way you can, it's just a little extra to help make sure it is working like it should. So uh, you want to make sure there's no power to the box. I'm going to do this live because I don't have any other way to do it, and, but you're always supposed to have the power off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this neutral and this ground in. I'm going to strip the ends of them off. White wire is the neutral. Take that up. You got to be careful because this box is live. Good and snug and route the wire down there nice. Neat in the box. And that's the neutral. Now we get the ground. As you can see, that wire came through and went through between here. So that is making a good connection. And you want to make sure that you don't push the wire so far, so far through that you end up uh, that you end up getting on the coating because you won't get a good neutral connection. So again, when the wire is down, leave yourself a little bit of extra down in there. Now we've got the hot wire, which is your black wire. I'll take that. Obviously there's a screw. You open up. Put your wire in there. Tighten that down. Real good. So, gonna make sure that breaker is off. And obviously, if your box is dead, right now this box is live that I'm working with. But Make your box look nice and neat. Now you have your three wires. Now I will grab the switch. We're putting, we only, we don't want anything else being plugged in here. So instead of using your normal doubles where there'd be two, we're only going to have one. 
This is actually uh, 12 2 wire, 12 2 with ground, which can handle 20 amps. And uh, this is a dedicated circuit just for this water heater that we're installing. And that's it. You can also tell a 20 amp circuit because a 20 amp circuit will have this and then you will have this on the, on the side. So on the neutral. This is the hot side over here. So. Shut off for a second. We're going to hook up our ground going to get into there. Now this tight screw tightens this way so we'll make sure we're good and tight. Tighten that up a little. Okay, now this side here is our neutral. You can see right here there's a put you can push it in we've already measured it to make sure we're at the right angle or the right depth <coughs> tighten that good now go to the other side this one here again there's a little hole sometimes you have to wrap it around the wire but this particular ones are made for a little heavier duty. Okay, now what we're going to do, take and we're going to wrap electrical tape around this. And that's just to protect it. You don't have to do it, it's just a good idea. Now, you can take, bend your wires down, and get your plug line back up, and be able to start your screws. You just start the top one there. Oh, hang on. Before we close the box up, we've got to tighten these two up.
put that on. Then you put your final cover on. Turn your power on. You're all set. It's a dedicated 110 volt circuit. Basically, the dedication is this breaker turns this one and only this on. And we're going to end up plugging our water heater into this, and that's the only thing that's going to plug into that. So that's how you do a dedicated circuit. And this was all approved by your local electrical inspector. And uh, yes, he did finish off that bag of Crown Royal there. So we'll have to give him a ride home, but we don't want him drinking and driving. <laughs>